Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're going to be testing out the Black Rifle Arms Enhanced Firing Pin. Um, if you were a fan of this channel or if you're new to the channel, I've been testing out this 762 by 39 I guess you can say AR-47 pistol. Uh, last couple times we've taken it out to the range and it ran good. We had some problems with the Dura mag that we were running with this. We bought a couple more C-Prox Defense mags. Ran fine, but we kept getting light primer strikes with Tula. And I said, hey guys, if you have any ideas, let me know what to do to fix it because it was running fine with wolf polyformance it ran fine with ppu and all the other ammo that we took to the range with us but just not the tula i think part of the tula is maybe that those harder primers it just was not able to work with it i really didn't want to replace the hammer spring so we're going to try this first um, again this is the black rifle arms enhanced firing pin these cost ten dollars and 99 cents i actually bought three of them we'll be replacing the uh, firing pin in my 16 inch 762 by 39 upper also and uh, we're going to de definitely try this out with tula and see if it makes any kind of a difference um, according to the Black Rifle Arms website, the difference between this and the standard mil-spec firing pin is that this is engineered to maintain mil-spec characteristics where the firing pin interfaces inside the bolt and still allow greater protrusion into the primer. So I don't know if it's just a few micro millimeters longer or what it is, but um, we're going to definitely hit this with a caliper and see how it compares to the standard firing pin that comes with it. Now, Bear Creek Arsenal does not do any kind of enhanced firing pins on their firearms. They keep them just straight up mil spec. And apparently this will also work with your, uh, your 545. It says 545 by 39 also. So if you shoot that round, um, it will also work with your uh, AK-74s or those pattern of, of rifles and pistols and so on. So let's go ahead and get out the old firing pin and we'll just compare the two together. I'm not really going to worry about weight, but we'll get the caliper out and measure them and see if there's any difference in the uh, length. And then we will hit the range. We got to zero this. We need to zero this um, AR upper with uh, a new red dot that we just picked up. So we're going to be doing that also. We're going to kind of be filming two or three videos in one uh, based off of this video. So anyway, let's get that firing pin out and we will see what's going on. Just with the, you know, kind of basic inspection, they do look virtually... Uh, identical seems like this ledge is maybe a little bit smaller diameter overall but that might just be because this is more of kind of a frosted kind of a matte finish and the enhanced pin is a little bit shinier and let's go ahead and get the calipers on these and see if there's a link difference okay the basic Bear Creek firing pin is 3.232 inches so let's check out the uh, black rifle arms uh, pin here in just a sec Okay, so we're seeing 3.235, so it's about one, oh, about two, three thousandths of an inch longer. So 3.235, one more time. Okay, 3.235, and here we go. Yeah, 3.232. So we're going to see if that uh, three thousandths of an inch is going to make a difference. I personally think it will because on the light prim primer strikes, you know, it just seems like those primers on the uh, Tula were barely dented. So we're going to go ahead and put this new enhanced firing pin in. We're going to take the old one with us in case we have any problems. We're going to start off with some basic Tula steel case ammo. Can't really tell you the grain weight. I also brought some Wolf uh, lead core bullet steel case ammo that I picked up uh, recently too. So we'll try that. Now if this thing will run Tula with no issues at all, and we'll take multiple magazines with us just in case, uh, then I'm going to be sold on this enhanced firing pin. It comes highly recommended from you guys, the viewers on my channel that have already done this kind of a swap on your 762 by 39 AR uppers. And it gets five stars out of uh, 31 reviews over on the uh, Black Rifle Arms website. So I think it's definitely one of those things that's going to come in handy. And also, um, I got it shipped within about a week, not even. I think it was less than seven days from placing the order on a weekend. And they have great communication with you, too. So without further ado, let's hit the range. Okay, guys, so the range is already pretty busy. And so instead of me talking and distracting everybody else while they're trying to focus, uh, if you're watching this right now, there's going to be, you're going to see the shooting footage in two different videos. Uh, if you're here for the Ozark armament video, we're going to put 30 rounds down the pipe and just see if the site has any problems at all with functionality, see if it turns off or flickers or anything like, like that. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and do some accuracy testing on it. If you're here for the Black Rifle Arms firing pin test, we're going to be shooting Tula ammo the whole time. And as you know, that's the the, uh, ammo that I'd mentioned that we were having trouble cycling in the last range test on the 762 by 39 upper. So uh, again, we're, you're going to see the same shooting footage twice. No big deal. 
figure if we're gonna have the same gun in two videos, we might as well go ahead and just share the ammo. So let's go ahead and just do the 30 rounds, check out the red dot, and uh, we'll go from there.
All right, so if you're looking for those uh, enhanced firing pins, and again, I bought mine straight up, no promotion, no freebies, anything like that. Just go to, I believe, blackriflearms.com. Great customer service. They took care of me, $10.99 a piece. Shipping was just a couple bucks. It really wasn't that expensive, like maybe $4 or something like that, and I got the three firing pins. And uh, anyway, so do check that out. So if you're gonna be doing any kind of an AR-47 and you're having some light primer strike issues, the cheapest route to go initially is probably gonna be that firing pin. Otherwise, you've got a hammer, hammer springs, and there's kits that you can buy and stuff like that. So. So we're going to go. I'm going to keep that firing pin in there. I did swap that out with the 16 inch uh, 762 by 39 Bear Creek Arsenal upper also. A couple things. Um, it did not lock back on the final round. I noticed it did glide right over the mag. Now those are C Products Defense Dura mags, 20 round mags. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. They're some of the more reliable uh, magazines you can get for that, for that platform. And uh, also, maybe I should have mentioned it earlier, I did take off the charging handle from the firearm and that's just because unless you blue thread lock that uh, charging handle, it's going to come loose during a shooting session kind of a pain in the rear so hopefully black uh, hopefully bear creek arsenal gets that figured out maybe he does some different threads or some more some more aggressive threads or whatever in the bolt so yeah i didn't have the uh, charging handle in there i just didn't want to have to fiddle around with it it was loctited but unfortunately i had to pull it out in order to get the firing pin out so enough of me babbling so if you've got that 762 by 39 ar 15 pistol carbine whatever you're dealing with some light primer strikes get that enhanced firing pin it's just a little bit longer barely longer than the regular firing pin according to my calipers and it's not going to cause any issues it's still going to stay within mil spec okay um otherwise that's it for the firing pin coverage guys i want to thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe check me out on facebook twitter instagram you can also find me over on guntube.org uh otherwise i think that's about it a lot more range footage coming your way and uh, we'll get that ozark armament red dot video put out there for you too and just see how well that thing will zero and uh, whether or not it's going to take the abuse so right now the red dots at 40 is at 40 rounds down the pipe no problems the firing pins at 40 40 rounds down the pipe gonna keep using that firing pin if something happens i'll make a quick update video like if it breaks or something the firing pin but uh, otherwise i think we're good to go so guys have fun be safe and as you know we will talk to you soon all right y'all take care all right bye-bye